We have the management now joining us to take us to the earnings. Mr. Abhijit Roy, MD and CEO at Berger Paints India. Thank you very much, Mr. Roy, for joining us here on NDTV Profit. Many congratulations for super strong numbers in this quarter. Can you talk to us about uh, the margins and what kind of demand really you saw in this quarter? Well, the margin, as you can see, you know, has improved uh, considerably, actually. We are on the back of basically the raw material prices, which have been, as you mentioned just now, you know, which has dropped. And therefore, you know, it, it's probably one of the highest uh, margins that we have recorded so far. Uh, it's also due to the fact that, you know, some amount of mixed change is happening, both on the decorative and industrial side, uh, which is very positive for us. And, and that is also driving up the margin. So you would see consistent growth happening, in fact, you know, over the last three, four years. And uh, this has culminated in, you know, now because of the oil prices dropping, this has further helped the situation. So margin is, you know, very healthy in excess of, you know, 16% now. And uh, overall, in, in terms of growth rate, uh, the demand scenario, if you look at it, that is also uh, okay, you know, I won't say it's, you know, very bright or, you know, growing very, or very buoyant, but it is reasonably placed in the third quarter. Our volume growth was in excess of 14%, which, you know, by current uh, situation, I think is pretty good. All right. So you had the highest ever margin in excess of 16%, volume growth in excess of about 14%. Uh, what next now? Uh, since the uh, fall in the crude oil prices really, you know, it is pretty much staying at least in the fourth quarter as well, though there has been some bit of volatility. But overall, if you could give us an outlook uh, for the remaining half of the year and as we enter into the year 2017, are the margins expected to uh, expand even further? Uh no, you know, in, in fourth quarter, I think, you know, the profits will be fairly decent, you know, because uh, as you uh, just now said, uh, the price benefit of the raw material price drop will probably continue right to end of the fourth quarter. Uh, also, sales growth will be dependent, of course, you know, on how the demand scenario pans out, you know. Uh, it depends in on February, March performances. Uh, January is gone by and more or less it is in line with what we were doing on third quarter. So uh, it will depend on the fourth quarter performance as far as volume is concerned. Going forward in the coming year, uh, if you know uh, the crude prices don't start rising or you know the dollar doesn't start misbehaving, uh, then probably we will continue with the profitability for the first two quarters because you know the base effects will start kicking in from third quarter onwards when the profitability. Uh, will not be as high in growth terms, you know, but the overall profit margin will remain reasonably high. Okay. Um, when you talk about volume growth in excess of 14%, do you think that will uh, stay at least going forward? Well, you know, it was, you know, a bit driven up by the fact that October was, you know, a peak month this year uh, and which fell in the third quarter. Uh, it, you know, therefore, sustaining a 14% plus volume growth uh, in the current situation, the way things are, uh, may be, you know, slightly difficult. But we will register definitely a double-digit volume growth for sure. Uh, the YTD figure has been double-digit, so I think, you know, that is, you know, more or less, you know, we should be able to achieve. Okay. Talking about different segments, decorative, industrial, while we are seeing industrial segment in some places is still struggling, how has been, uh, you know, the segment like for your company? Well, it is it's still not an out of the woods, I would say, you know, improved from what it used to be two years back maybe, uh, but uh, it, the momentum has still not come in. Uh, there is some pickup in demand uh, in you know the commercial vehicle category where we are you know reasonably represented, uh, but the two wheelers are still in a trouble where we have a fairly you know good presence, and uh, we aren't doing well on that. And in the protective coatings area, which had any showed initial signs of pickup, that there also things have slowed down a little bit. So on the industrial side overall, I think you know the situation has improved but not to the level which we would want. All right. Talking about your capacity, we understand you were also setting up a new manufacturing plant near Pune. What's the update on that front? 
that that is an on stream actually for powder coatings uh, now we are going to expand it for the other industrial areas like automotive and uh, protecton since the demand scenario is not very robust at this point of time we have just delayed it a little bit and it will come on stream possibly 3 to 6 months from now to 6 months from now uh, uh, also uh, with the kind of numbers that we've seen that you've posted in this quarter any uh, you know market share gain that you've seen yes you know uh, there is a uh, not exactly in terms of market share this quarter right? i think on a ytd basis we would have had a marginal market share gain uh, though the profit gain you know over others would be you know probably much better